This week at Aspire HQ, Owen's Badger Run build is back from paint and it's looking superb. Our T6.1 in gloss black is all finished and is live on the site and it's absolutely stunning. And we've got our other T6.1 build underway. Hello James and all you Aspire lovely badges. Right, so we're going to give you a bit of an update on what we've been up to this week. It's been massively productive, uh, we've got loads done. So this is uh, the big build that I've been working on ready for uh, the Badger Run later this year. Um, this week we've successfully installed the Red 9 front line um, twin wishbone designed uh, front beam, which is awesome bit of kit. Uh, we travelled over to the Netherlands to pick that up. It's now all fitted and operational. We've just got the brake lines to fit. Um, on the rear section, uh, we've completely stripped everything out um, so there's not going to be any unwanted wires or uh, any cables, bushes or anything that's not required on this build. It's been fully under sealed and stone guarded. Uh, so we've got this lovely matte back finish on everything now. Um, we've obviously got the new rear disc setup, which most bay windows won't have, so it's completely off the market and it'll give us uh, some great stopping power, just like a modern vehicle. Um, the gearbox arrived back yesterday from John Walker Transmissions up in Newcastle under Lyme. We've had it fully rebuilt um, and it's now just been fitted, ready to receive the new drive shafts. Uh, we've got a new area underneath the van where we're going to install the water tank, the diesel tank, the petrol tank and the gas canister. So we're running on all fuels on this van, as well as the solar and the solar generation kit inside. Um, it's so we can have everything that we need on this van to make it a really enjoyable trip and a great future prize for one of you lucky badgers. Uh, so check back later in the week to see how we're getting on and uh, we'll see you soon. How's it going, mate? Honestly, how's it going down there? Yeah, not too bad. I'm just um, taking the T25 screws off of the bottom of the bumper. Um, I've already took the top ones off that go into the. Um, oh, what's that called? I don't know what it's called, James. What are they called? That's a grill, mate. No, this. Slam panel? Same. Oh, I thought that's that one. Crash panel. No, slam panel for the bonnet. Slam panel. Level yeah. three mechanic. I didn't know the technical terms, I just called it bonnet doofer. That'd do. Bonnet doofer. Slide in. Slide in. Slam it down. I said I'd replace more of these and you've had hot dinners. Not quite, I think I'll replace three. One of them being the snail, one of them being the black T6. Oh my god, I've stopped myself there. Because we haven't named it yet, have we? Not too bad yourself. Yeah, not too bad. What are you up to today? Today I'm fitting all the under trays and heat shields, Just finding all the right tools. What does that mean? Does that mean it's a good day? Does that mean it's done? Uh, close, very close. Final touches, eh? Tuesday, it's 29 minutes past nine. And we're gonna be refitting a bumper. No, we're not. I haven't ordered the grill. Mm, okay. How are you feeling? Um, tired, still got toothache. Got to put a bumper together. What's annoying, she's got a plastic world open together and it takes ages. That's about it, that's my day so far. Hello mate. Hi, how are we doing? Good, just been to get some paint. See if we can change the sun visors in the van. So we're going for Coke Black. I thought Coke was brown. I did. Or white. So we're going for this gold. 
Oh, Montana Gold. Montana Gold. That's what I did my wheels in. Montana Gold. Montana Gold. <laughs> That's what I painted my wheels with. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. We'll try it and see if it works. If not, next step. How are the dream team on today? This is currently carpet panels. So I'll put tar in some of the panels of the new van. And the ones obviously behind the kitchen that you won't see, we'll just put a normal black four-way stretch carpet. It's gonna look cute. We've got a really cool plan and idea for the headliner on this one that popped up that I haven't seen anywhere else. It's gonna be cool. It's like my um, backpack on Fortnite. I've got a dog on the back, and you can come out and you, you just tap him. You actually need to get a knife, mate. We are just about to start first fixed wiring in this new grey van. So um, we're just uh, discussing where we're going to run the cables because this van, unlike some of the others, our back pillars are solid. There's no holes to run cables through on previous vans where they had cutouts for bits and pieces to go into and this one hasn't. So we're just discussing what we're going to do. We could probably run down by in there so we don't need that as much but yeah. We're just talking about what we're going to do, how we're going to do it, smoke a pancake and yeah start getting into it. How you feeling, Lamp? <laughs> Confident. Hey! Confident. Yeah, dance. Feel right. Hey, what are we doing? We're in bad. It's closing this pop top, so this new build can go up for photos. Is it finished? Not fully, but it's in the final stages. Yeah. I thought she was done, mate. Oh yeah, she was. Got the S. Good. What are you up to? We're just sorting our bench out, ready to put all our appliances and bits and pieces like lights and sockets and stuff on the bench so that it's ready to go in the van when we've got it. We're just going to give it a clean down first so we've got a nice, well, a nice bit of housekeeping to keep it nice and tidy so it's easy to work around. Hi. Hi. How's housekeeping? Good. Yeah, good mate. How are we doing all right? Yeah, we're doing all right. We've um, just fitted the Red 9 design front beam, which we had to go all the way over to the Netherlands to pick up, uh, which is quite a cool trip. Um, the, the feature of the Red 9 design beam allows us to have a double wishbone setup, coil over suspension, uh, new four pot disc brakes which these uh, old classics don't generally have and we can do away with the old steering box um, as it all comes part of the, the new setup. So we should have much better handling, increased braking, uh, better road handling all over with the uh, new suspension and the brakes. So yeah, uh, making good progress and it's all now in blue. On this one, on the grey van, unlike the black one we've just finished, this one's got the tailgate. And as it's got a tailgate, what we're going to do is put two down lights in the panel on the back here and the light switch, which would be up there as well. So the, you can use it for another awning, another seating area, a bit of lighting when you're getting things in and out. It's just something we haven't done yet before on one of our vans and just thought it'd be a nice little touch. You can have the switch here and the down lights coming there for plenty of light. Oh, well, during the dark hours, I suppose, or never. But it's just something we haven't done yet. And we've had to run the cable 
so the, the power cable going to the switch is coming through the door, along the shoulder of the door, through the um, flexible arm there, and then through the shell back into the 12 volt system. A bit fiddly to do, but what you need to do is feed something through the flexi arm, because it, it gets caught quite a lot there, so either a stiff cable, or what we used was a bit of um, flexi plastic fed that through, then take the cable onto it and then we could pull through. And the same on the side of the door here, because it's got stepped levels, if you try to feed a cable through, it gets stuck. So we had to feed the flexi plastic through, which we could then adjust from one end and then taped on and pulled it back through again. So little tips, get a bit of flexi plastic to feed through to pull the cable through. Job done. Thanks for joining us this week at Aspire HQ. Please do like and subscribe and we'll see you at the next one.